Okay, well, I figure I got about eight ounces here. I put 80 drops in, 10 drops per ounce. I've got this set in, the middle one set in, and I've got my trusty drill straight to a solar panel. Nice. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and pour this. I've got all the wires pushed out of the way where I think they shouldn't be. give it a little extra this time since we didn't quite have enough in some spots be a little careful might as well fill that hole back up I'm not going to need it a little bit across here fill this up whoa a little too much Get that little hole filled there there we go and I got a little off the edge here Get that filled up. There we go. Mm, little hole in the middle of this. That might bubble out, might not. Another bubble I had in here. The last time I did this, I had some polyester resin. That was a year old, about the time that I poured my last stator. This time, pretty much about two years old. And it was getting kind of thick like molasses. As a matter of fact, each time I had to pour on the last setup, it took a while to get it out the can. I even had to drill a hole in what was hardened in the top of the can. So, that yeah, was a lot of fun. I think if I do that there, I ought to be pretty much sweet. Yeah, I only needed four ounces maybe don't quite have this level. I should have leveled it up first. Let me get it level now. Yeah. That ought to pretty much offset it. Now I can add a little more over here. And there was one coil that didn't quite get a decent cast on it. Well, I think I've got a little bit more than what I need. Everything's up above the other levels because I can see it looking across it this way. I think that's going to come out pretty sweet. I'm going to add a little bit more over here just for safety. There we go. I'm pretty much set up. I know this is the top of the mold. And which way is this set? Uh, okay. There we go. Set that down. I see some coming out on my table already. Let's see if I can get one of these set. That hole's lined up. This one lined up. Yep, that's lined up. Start putting them in. Notice I do have a fuse right here. Just in case these pop together, I don't start a fire with the wire. It's being short. If you've ever seen a wire catch fire and the fire travel down the wires, it all shorts together. Especially with a twisted pair. That's a lot of fun. Okay. Well, the wind has just about died down. We had some good winds earlier, but they fizzled out on me. Whoop, I got one in there. Looks like I'm good to go. Alright, time now is 4.25 p.m. I'm going to look around and see what I can find for uh, the rest of this. <laughs> Have some fun. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind and Other Home Energies. Be back in a little while and see just how good this turned out. Well, alright, it's... What? Oh, it's an uh, hour and a half later. The stuff in the cup dried up five minutes after the shot was over got the sun on me so you're gonna hear a fan in the background that's running straight off a uh, straight off a solar panel there's one three all 
five, six, seven, eight, one more. And number nine. Uh, a couple little pockets. This still still feels a little sticky. I'm gonna go ahead with it anyway. <laughs> bubble, bubble, bubble. One inside the coil still there from last time, even though I filled it. Ah, not too worried about it. Number ten. I forgot to put a two inch block right down here, so I'm gonna have to recarve that out. That was 11, 12, and the 13th screw. That should be the last of them. And the razor knife. That's much better. Close enough for me. And just like the last time, came off real good. And there's the piece from the other time before. <laughs> and here we go. That's good. <laughs> well, you see all the wrinkles from the powder. Hit the mold, see if they... That's all right. There is a successful troubleshoot and repair of the prototype stator. A little bit of razor blade work around the edges. I'll give it a little bit more time. Look like I took a piece of the uh, aluminum foil tape off the mold there. Still a little bit sticky. Sounds good. Maybe I'll hit some paint on this before, I, before it completely dries. That way the paint will stick on there real nice. Pretty sure through the sun, you can see some of the coils through it, like that. My numbers are still there from when I drew them. There's the back side. Looking pretty good. I'm going to give it some time. That sticky might just be the oil. Yeah, ain't worried about that little bubble. The rest of it looks a lot better than the last time. I'm going to use it as a prototype. Drill my holes up here now, down here instead of here where I had them. And I won't have to worry about that. I will have to cut into here and cut across and back over. Anyway, she'll line up, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm happy. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind, another home energy. Many good things to you and yours.